Morning. Morning, Morning. friends. Well, let's begin our class. Everybody knows that today is the first day of July and that this is our final class of the week. Remember that we continue with our class during July and we are supposed to finish with the final exam, mock test number seven, at the end of this month. We have a homework, which is a reading. Reading, so um, where is it? Ah, here it is. This is reading part seven. That's it. And this exercise begins with question number 43. When talking about their bike, which cyclist accepts the need to wear uncomfortable safety equipment? And then you have to write a letter. For Celia is letter D. Uh, and for Jose is letter D. For Alex is letter D. Gema, letter D. I think everybody coincides that letter D. But it is not letter D, friends. According to Cambridge, this is letter C. Letter C. So you have to check it as soon as we finish the class to check why. The, the man says, I've got two helmets, a summer and a winter version, but I still got too hard uh, on really sunny days. Still, you can uh, really do without one, can't you? So 43, let us see, is the perfect choice. In 44, <laughs> Jose, that's a very ugly word. In 44, friends, in 44, which uh, cyclist advises people to make sure a new bike is comfortable to ride? 44, what do you think is the answer? A for Celia, and for Alex A, for Jose A, and uh, and uh, for Gemma is letter C. Uh -huh. Well, 44 is letter A, friends, according to Cambridge. So 43 is letter C, but 44 is letter A. Let's go to 45. Which cyclist believes that false information was given by the seller? 45 opinions. D for Celia and Alex, D also Jose D and 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 Gemma is letter D too. Gemma coincides. Yes, friends, in 45 years, letter D is the answer. Letter D 45. 46. Which cyclist disagrees with other people's opinion of one of the bike's features? 46. What letter do you think it is? C for Celia, C for Alex, C for Jose. And 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 C for Gemma, excellent. Yes, because 46 is letter C, perfect. 47. Let's see 47. Which cyclist hopes not to get caught in bad weather on the bike? 47. A for Celia. A for Jose. 47. A for Gemma. Gemma coincides. C Alex. For Alex is letter C. Well, it's not A, it's not C, it's letter B. 47 is letter B when the man, man says, I cycle all over the city because it's much quicker than walking and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> say, this is number two, it's the second episode. Very good. 48. 48 is which cycle feels that cycling is less frustrating than driving. What is it in 48 for you? B for Celia, uh, and for Jose, B, uh, Alex, B, and, and, and Gemma, Gemma, B, yes, kids, B is correct in 48. Now let's go to 49. Which cyclists find some cycling journeys easier than others? 49. Yeah, Let us see for Celia, see for Jose, see for Alex and Gemma. And Gemma. C, yes, C is correct. 50, which cyclist feels that the bike matches the owner's character? 50, letter 
A for Celia, A for Alex, A for Jose, and Gemma, and for Gemma, A, Ainoa, uh, hi, uh, A, and Gemma, A. Very good. In number 50, the answer is A. 51 now. Which cyclist was once the victim of by crime? 51. Letter D for Celia, D for Jose, and, and D for Alex. And Gemma, I know a D and Gemma D. Excellent, friends. D is correct in 51, 52. Which cyclist was a professional cyclist for a short time? Letter 52. B for Jose, B for Celia, B for Alex. I know a Gemma B and I know a Well, is letter B the correct answer? Yes, it's letter B. So I repeat, in this homework, which was reading comprehension, which is really, really difficult in the exam, some people are passing. Yes, in my opinion, some of you are passing because they are how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You need six correct answers. And I think that some of you have six answers correct. In 43 is letter C, in 44 is letter A, in 45 is letter D, in 46 is letter C, in 47 is letter B. You, ah, yes, but they are 10, so you have uh, A. Right answer, Jose. 47 is letter B, 48 is letter B, 49 is letter C, 50 is letter A, 51 is letter D, and 52 is letter B. Good. If you have one or two incorrect, in the case of Jose, if you have two incorrect answers, please at home try to check why Cambridge considers that the answer is not your answer. In this analysis, you can learn a lot. Reading comprehension, we finish. And now what? We have to change the topic. I would like to study some grammar, but I think what is the meaning of EO? EO? Are you singing? Do you remember? No, I don't, Jose. What is EO? Oh, friends, do you remember EO? Ah, yes. <laughs> so, my God, Jose, what a memory, friend. Causative form. We were studying causative form. And, friends, when I study causative form, I feel passion. I don't know what you feel, you know. I, I know that Jose Luis, for example, he feels nothing, but I am a sentimental person. Uh, I know that Celia is a sentimental person. Gemma is very sentimental too. Now to speak about I know, you can imagine how much love I know feels for everything, right? Um, Alba is another sentimental person. But Jose feels nothing, friends, insensible. Friends, when I hear the word causative, I feel passion, you know? Yes, <laughs> yes, you know why? Because this is, this is something that I'm not going to do. Huh? This is something that someone else is going to do for me. And that is fantastic, friends. Imagine girls, principally the girls, because Jose does nothing at home. Why? Because he is married with three girls. He has three daughters. So he lives with four women. He is like a maraha. He does nothing. But the rest of the human, like you, you, you and me, we have to do the housework. Yes or no? I have to dust the furniture. I have to sweep the floor. Nowadays, I'm not sweeping. I am vacuuming the floor is better, you know, but I have to mop the floor. I have to clean uh, the toilet. Uh, I have to make the beds, you know, I have to uh, do the washing up. I have to do a lot of, of housework. That's why causative form is something very nice for me because it means that you are not doing anything Another person, someone else, is doing all the activities for you. 
If I have a problem with the car, I take the car to make the mechanic. I don't repair the car because I know nothing about cars, only driving and not very well. <laughs> so I take the car to the mechanic and he is the person. Yes, Celia, I have to be honest with you, my friend. So he is the man who gets dirty with oil and everything while I am sitting at the, at the sitting room you know, reading a magazine about cars and cars, luxury cars, Jaguars, Mercedes Benz, uh, and the man is working. So I never said I repaired my car yesterday. No, because I didn't do it. I said I had my car repaired yesterday. This is the formula. Half and or, or get. I always forget get because I don't use it very often, but I should. I should use it to give you the example. Uh, I can say I got my car repaired yesterday by the mechanic, if I want to mention the mechanic, right? Uh, and have and get are the verbs we use. It's, it's a kind of formula. The Soviet, in this case, I, the Soviet, the verb have or get, the obiet, what? The car? or the house, or what, that, and then the principal verb in past participle. Past participle is the ED, the famous ED with the regular verbs. When the verb is irregular, you have to memorize the third column. But you study that in primary school and in secondary school and in high school and in your careers at the university. So you know the irregular verbs by memory. No, more or less. Jose, no. Okay, Gemma remembers all the irregular verbs by memory. So it's, it is a piece of cake, right? But, but what worries me is that sometimes people think that when you use the causative form, it's only to speak about something that happened yesterday. Always a simple past. I had my car repaired. I had my house painted last year. I had my nails painted yesterday morning at the manicure. No, not always a simple past. Let me show you something. Give me a second. Where is it? Ah, it's here. I want you to know, kids, that even the simplest things in life can get complicated. Huh? The simplest thing sometimes get complicated, like this. Have a look. Don't think that the causative form is always, 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 always in past, simple, I had, etc., etc. No, look at the options. Present simple, for example, you have an example of regular active form and you have an example of a causative form in present simple, in present continuous, in past simple, in past continuous. See that? In future simple, future continuous. In present perfect and present perfect continuous. In past perfect and in past perfect continuous. Right? And then infinitive plus ing form. Right? Well. I, I want to send you this chart to your mobile phones, so please, please give me a second for me to do it, because I want you to have it, this chart, I mean, to have it in your mobile is um, more comfortable for you. Give me a second, a second, a second here. Where is it? Ah, uh -huh, here it is. Have you received it?
good rallies. Thank you, I know. Thank you very much, Alba. Thank you very much. Now you have this chart in your mobile phone, so you can check it, right? You can check it. Because now we are going to do some exercise. For example, let's go to exercise number three, exercise number three, page 143. Exercise three, page 143. Let me show you the page. This is exercise three. Let, let me make it bigger. Complete the sentences below by writing the correct form of half or get and the correct form of one of the verbs in the box, in the gaps. So they give you the verbs that you have to use in past participle. You have cut down, irregular, deliver, regular, pulled out, regular, extend, regular, paint, regular, renew, regular. Friends, it's a piece of cake. It is very easy because cut down, the only irregular in this list is invaluable. You know, cut, cut, cut. So you have to do nothing. When you finish these six sentences that you have in exercise number three, please send me a message for me to check it.
Celia and Alex finished. And Alba and Jose and I know. Oh, good, 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 good. And Gemma too. So we are ready to check the answers. Remember, we are studying causative forms. We use the causative form in English a lot. In Spanish, it's not necessary. In Spanish, I can say, eh, la semana pasada, reparé el coche. I can say that in Spanish, and there is no problem. People understand. People are not going to think that I am a mechanic or something like that. It's not the idea. But we say it. In English, not. In English, this is incorrection. Let's see. In number one, it says, you'll need, and now you have to remember that we use the preposition to after need. This is essential in the exam. Need to, want to, go to, you need to know that. So you have to use the infinitive. In number one, the idea is that the student remembers the use of to, because if you forget to, you don't pass. Uh, to have your passport renewed. Exactly that, Alba. Exactly that. You'll need to have your passport renewed. Yes. Or to get, Alex. Yes. Or to get. Yes. Yes, Jose. Very good. So this is number one as a manner of example because you don't have examples here. Now, number two, she went to the dentist yesterday and what did you copy in this space and and got pulled out yes this is i know had or got pulled out alex had pulled out alba celia had a tooth pulled out yes yes excellent yeah very good jose yes and now number three what about number three good Gemma, that's, that's okay, yes. And now let's go to uh, number three. I know I uh, have been painted. In number three, have been painted for, uh, for I know, and for Celia, the same. For Jose, having painted the same. Alex, having or getting painted. Very good. Alba, having or getting painted. Very good, friends. The two options. Gemma, having painted. Yes, very good, very good. Number four. What do you think about number four? Half cut down, Celia. Half or get cut down, Alba. Get cut down, I know. And Alex, half or get cut down. Hema, half cut down. Yes, yes. All your answers are correct. Some students give me the two options, which is fantastic. Jose, half or get cut down. Excellent. Number five, our house is too small. If we could afford it, we'd, uh, we'd what? Get extended. For I know I have extended Thalia, uh, Alex, half or get extended. For Alba, half or get extended. For Jose, half extended. Excellent, excellent. Six, he hates cooking and... Yes, Gemma, get extended. Now we are in six. He hates cooking and blank, all his meal blank from the restaurant opposite. What do you use in the two spaces in blank? Well, for I know is half delivered uh, for, for I know and for, and for Jose has delivered, for Gemma half delivered and uh, Alba get or have delivered, and for Alice has or gets delivered. Friends, be careful with the verb. Alex and Jose are correct. It is has or gets, because the Soviet is he. So the verb takes an S. He hates cooking and has, in case of half, or gets, in case of get, all his meal, Yes, no, no problem, Alba. We are practicing. 
but don't forget the beginnings of the lessons. Very good, friends. This is the causative form. You didn't do it. Someone else did it for you. Sometimes you have to pay for the service. Sometimes it's just a favor. Exercise number four. For questions one to four, observe exercise four, everybody. In your books, the same page, exercise four. For questions one to four, complete the second sentence so that it has a similar meaning to the first sentence using the word given. Don't change. Remember that in all your examinations, you have an exercise similar to this in the use of English exams. So they are only four sentences, please. When you finish, send me a little message. Celia, a question. How are you today? Well. Celia, do you have long hair or is only in the photograph? I have long hair, yeah. Good. <laughs> Good. I, ha I have to, to put it, to, to cut it. When? Uh, when the summer finished, I think. But, but, <laughs> but you have to... And I, and I want to have pink hair. So I have to think about it. <laughs> oh my God, Celia, what a pity. What a pity, yeah. friend. Okay, did, did, you, did you ask your boyfriend? I, I, it's not necessary. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Celia. Thank you very much, friend. Thank you.
Alex finished. And Jose and Alba Emma finished, Celia finished. And I know I finished. Good friends, let's check this. It says, someone stole my bag during the bus journey and now you have to use had. As the answer is very, very long, I will give you the answer. So don't worry, don't copy anything. Just relax in your house, right? Relax, not too much. Don't get sleep. But uh, listen to me, I'm going to give you the answers because if not, we are going to spend the rest of the class typing in your computer. In number one, according to Cambridge, he says, I had my bag stolen while I had my bag stolen while I was on the bus. Check it out. So in the spacing blank, uh, when yes, acceptable, Thelia. Why while? Why is while better than when? Why? Because in this, in the original sentence, yes, it, it could be when. Yes, I know, but listen to this. Pay attention to me. They are completely similar in real life. In real life, but in the exam. If you observe that a, or the original sentence has during, it is better to use while because while and during are synonyms. Okay, so if you see in the exam that they use during in your version, try to use while. But you know what? I know when is very acceptable here but i don't want you to have any kind of you know problem in the exam because you use when when they expect you to use while etc so when is while sorry is a synonym of duty number two a professional photographer is taking a photo of stefan you have to use picture stefan is having well if i use get is getting right his picture taken stephen is having his picture taken by a professional photographer imagine that i want to use get stephen is getting his picture taken by a professional photographer now marianne wants the hairdresser to change the color of her hair and you have to use dyed study this verb it's interesting marianne wants to have her hair dyed at the hairdressers imagine that i want to use get many many american people prefer get marianne wants to get her hair dyed at the hairdresser and the final one is number four the college rejected pasquale's application you have to use turn and remember this remember this there is a synonym of reject which is turn down and that is what cambridge is expecting for you what is the answer pasquale had his application turned ed turned down by the college. Pasquale had his application turned down, rejected, turned down, right? 
by the college. Now compare these answers with your answers, and if you have any questions, something you don't understand, like I know I did some minutes ago, the confusion with while and when, which is acceptable, etc. If not, if you don't have any problem and everything was perfect, we are going to continue practicing this, but not in the student's book. Now we are going to the workbooks. Because I found an interesting, well, interesting, 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 not so much, but there is an exercise dealing with this topic in your uh, workbook, page 52, co-locations, describing where you live. No, this is not the topic I want to study with you. Give me a second. Give me a second. This is it. Sorry. Grammar. Causative have and get. Page 52. So you have two exercises here in reality because they are 1A. What does the woman need to have done? And then when you finish this, you have 1B. What has the woman had done? Write sentences. So in number one, what does the woman need? This is a in present. This is causative form in present. But in letter B, what has the woman had? This is present perfect. Causative form in present perfect. So you have the chart with all the tenses. Check the examples and maybe you can do both exercises. We are doing now in the workbook, page 52, exercises 1A and 1B. When you finish, send me a little message.
Jose finished. Alex finished. And Alba, yes. And Celia, Ainoa, and Gemma. Very good, friends. Listen, exercise 1A. What does a woman need to have done? Complete the sentences with the correct form of the verbs from the box. And they give you four, four verbs. They are five, but one is the example. Clean, remove, replace, and cut. Clean, regular, remove, regular, replace, regular, cut, irregular, but invariable. So number one is the example. She needs to have the roof fixed, or she needs to get the roof fixed. But what about number two? She wants blank, the windows blank. What did you write in the blanks? I know how to have or get clean. Alba to have cleaned. Celia to have cleaned. Well, the answers are correct. To have the windows clean or to get the windows cleaned. Very good. Very good. And now let's go to three. She's going blank. The hedge blank. What did you write in number three? The two spaces in blank. To have or get caught, I know. To have caught, Alba. To have or get caught, Alex. To have caught, Thalia. Very good. And Jose, to have or get caught, Hema. To have or get caught. Excellent. To have the hedge cut or to get the hedge cut. Four, she would like blank, the rubbish blank. What did you copy in the blanks? In number four. To have or get removed, Alex. To have removed, Felia. I know how to have or get removed, Gemma. To have removed. Very good. Alba, to have removed. Jose, to have or to get removed. Excellent. Excellent. The final one in 1A, exercise five. It's not exercise, sorry. It's item five. She thinks she should blank the gate blank. What? In the spaces in blank. Kema to have replaced. Alba have replaced. Alex have or get replaced. Jose to have or to get replaced. I know I have or get replaced. Very good, but be careful. Be careful, friends. Is not to have. The two here is incorrect because we have the auxiliary should. And with should, could, would, and all the modal verbs will, can, etc. Yes, we don't use to. Be careful with this. Please, please, please be careful with this. Yes, Gemma. But don't forget that you have the auxiliary should, the verb in simple form. So she thinks she should have the gate replaced, or she thinks she should get the gate replaced. Let it be. What has a woman had done? ¿Qué ha hecho ella que se haga? Write sentences. Number six is the example. She has had. Ha hecho que se repare la que? El techo. Now, number seven. I'm going to read it. Wait, wait, wait a second. Wait, wait. Take it easy. Relax. Relax. Cool down, please. I'm going to tell you the answers because they are too long. And I want you to be fresh, fresh like a morning flower. So don't move a finger. Listen and compare with your answers. In number seven, she's had, I am making the contraction she has, which sounds similar to the contraction she is. Similar, no difference, friends. She's had the windows cleaned. Imagine that I want to use get. 
She's got the windows cleaned. Eight, she's had the hedge cut. Nine, she's had the rubbish removed. Ten, she's had the gate replaced. Check it out. Compare with your answers. If you have any question, I can answer uh, with a lot of pleasure. Because I want you to know that you are my favorite students. There are no other students better than you. Well, and now what? I want to practice with you, but not using the books. Uh, yes, Jose, friend, you have your little, little problems, but they are very little. In general, you are, listen to me, you are a good father. You are a good husband. You are a good worker. You are a good, excellent classmate. You are an excellent student. And you have a, an excellent sense of humor. Something that is missing nowadays, but you got it. So I think you are sensational. Well, friends, uh, yes, I, I want to practice, but not using the book, using something from the internet something that other students use and i thought well this is good for my students because they are exceptional give me a chance some seconds where is it here we are going to practice all tenses See that? Causative form, all tenses. Because here you have present simple, right? And you have present continuous, and you have past simple, past continuous, future simple, etc., 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 and then etc. again. We are going to practice this. Maybe it's difficult for you to work with the, with the exercise on the screen so i'm going to send it to you to your whatsapp group so you can work with your mobile phone give me just just a second please where is it yeah is it somewhere Michael. No, I can't find it for you, friends. I think you will have to use. You will have to use. The screen. To work with it. I'm so sorry. Jerry, I send it um, to the... I receive it. <laughs> yeah. Delia, thank you. Thank you, friend. Thank you. You are the, the best of the best. Thank you very much. Uh, have you sent it to the rest of the class? 
Ah, yes. I send yes. it to the WhatsApp group. I don't know if we are, uh, are uh, all of the class in that group. Don't worry. I, I will send it to the rest, yes.
Feria de Finish, Jose finished. And, and, and Alba finished too, Alex finished. Gema finished. Very good friends. I think we can check this. Again, listen to me, friends. Don't get nervous. Because if, if you have to answer, type in your answers, it takes a long time. So I, I'll give you my version. And if you don't agree, tell me. No problem with that. Don't hesitate. Pet observe. Number one, the answer should be more or less he has his shoes painted. Well, always has. No, you can use get. He gets his shoes painted. Observe that in number two, the initial sentence is in present continuous. So you have to use the causative form in present continuous. He is having or getting his car mended. Mended is a synonym of fixed, a synonym of repaired. Number three, observe that the sentence number three is in simple past. Let me see. Yes, in simple past or past simple. So you use the past of half. You use had. She had her garden watered. You don't want to use have. You want to use get. She got her garden watered. Four. It is in past continuous. She was having past continuous. She was having her hair permed. Five, it is in future using will. OK, I will have future. I will have the roof repaired. Six, present perfect. The manager has had present perfect. The manager has had the windows cleaned. In number seven is present perfect, but continuous. Present perfect continuous. Okay. She has been having present perfect continuous. Has been having. She's been having photos taken. In number eight, it is in past perfect. Okay. You had had past perfect. You had had your shirt. I don't. Number nine, again, is past perfect that continues, past perfect continues. Okay, you have been having, uh, I am using having and having, let's use get. You have been getting your house decorated. In number 10, they are using a modal verb. A modal verb. So you are going to repeat the modal verb, and after the modal verb, you are going to use have or get in simple form. For example, you may get the parcel sent, or you may have the parcel sent. 11 is future continuous. Okay. I will be having future continuous causative. I will be having my hair cut. Check the answers, compare the answers with yours. If you don't understand something, please don't hesitate. No, do the, don't hesitate telling me. Causative form. Why am I insisting on the causative form so much and dedicating so many minutes of my classes to this? Because I know that in your exam, one day when you decide taking the exam, Cambridge is going to use it in the use of English exam. They always use the causative form and they try to surprise you not using the causative form in simple past, which is the common, but in future or future continuous or present perfect, etc. But now I feel that you are prepared for that. 
But this is a good moment to finish the COSID form because we can get sick and tired of repeating the same thing minute after minute after minute. So let's go to do some use of English exercise. Let's go to page 144 in the student's book. No, this is the workbook, sorry. Let's go to the student's book, page 145. Let me show you this. One hundred and forty-five. This one. Here we have a typical, typical exercise in your examination: living on a houseboat. Living on a houseboat. I have a question for Jose. Jose, have you ever lived on a houseboat? You see, I ask Jose because he is a man with a large experience. He's done everything possible in life. I have never lived in a houseboat. Uh, I don't know what the sensation is, right? I don't know. But it, it, it must be sensational, I think. But not living forever, huh? Living for a short period of time. Two months, Jose. Here in Spain or in any other country? Mallorca. Oh, yes, imagine. My God, what a pleasure, Jose. I imagine that you were single or maybe married without children. Ah, what years. Okay, friends. But we, the rest of the students and the teacher itself, we have never had that experience, I think. I, I don't imagine Gemma living in a, uh, in a boat. Or, or, or imagine, imagine Celia in a boat. No, I, I can't imagine Ainoa or, you know, only Jose. That's why I ask him directly. Well, let's go to business. You have to fill in the blanks here in this uh, text, living on a houseboat, using a word that they never give you. You see, they give you no hints, nothing, nothing. You have to fill in the blank like in the exam, using only your imagination and your knowledge of English. Of course, now that we are at home, maybe you can use a dictionary or something, but I think it doesn't help a lot. When you finish this exercise, send me a message for me to check it because I want you to have it correct in the in your book.
Jose finished. And Alex. Jose, Alex, Alba, and Celia finished. Well, he says, and Gemma, I think. Yes. Living on a houseboat. When we first moved onto our houseboat on the river Crouch, there was a big storm. The, yes, Gemma. The, the lights swung backwards and forwards Though, number one, what do you think is the adequate word in number one? As for Alex, had for Celia, even for Alba, very confusing, yes or no? Even for Gemma, as for Jose, well, the answer is as. As though we were como si, as though we were as though it's a synonym of as if we were at sea but in blank of in number two because jose in because of alex instead hema spite alba stead and Thelia, despite I know opposite. No, Gemma is correct. The answer is in spite of, in spite of the bad weather, a pesar de, tenemos in y of, in spite of the bad weather, not a single cup fell off their shelves. In fact, in the four years blank, Since for Alex, and for I know it's since, and for Abba it's since the same, and uh, for Celia it's since, for Gemma it's since, for Jose it's since, very good, since is the perfect choice. Four years since we moved from our small house in the town nearby, blank, anything has been broken. What is the word here? Very confusing to number four. Almost, for I know, but she's not very sure. In Spanish, apenas algo se ha roto. I don't know, Alba, although, although for Jose, almost for I know, as since for Jose, well, friends, it's hardly, hardly, apenas. Hardly, please copy hardly. Hardly anything, apenas algo. Hardly anything has been broken. The boat is huge, 20 meters long and four meters wide. Period. Punto seguido. Blank to my dad. I know, uh, hardly. Yes, yes, I'm going to write it for you. Give me a second, friends. I'm going to copy hardly. Here you are. Well, for for Alba is according for Jose is according for Alex is according. Yes, according is the I'm Hema according. According is the word in number five. Very good. According to my dad, it's about four times the size of the house we had before. The kitchen up. What is the verb of the, the verb phrase with up? Takes for Alex, take for Jose, and 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 for Alba is takes 
and 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 for him it takes yes takes with s jose with s because it's the kitchen is it takes up about half uh, of the main living space and it's not separated from the rest of it so that whoever is cooking doesn't feel left out alex out jose out alba left out yes yes left out very good i know a very good heman left out our friends often blank round to see us turn round jose come round alex come alba and come for i know a come for celia and come for hema yes it's come it's not turn round it's not turn around because the meaning is different. Jose, turn around, es que le da la espalda, devuelves, te devuelves. It's come round to see us after we've been to school. In the living area, blah, 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 blah. Now, we uh, have some little minutes. So let's go to the workbooks, friends. Workbooks, page 55. Let's see if we have time for doing this. Page 55, because we have another use of English, but this is part one. Remember, in part one, they give you options. I don't know which of the two options is more difficult, but here they give you A, B, C, or D, and you have to select one. When you finish, send me a message. Reading and use of English, workbook, page 55.
Alex finished. And I know and Gemma, my God, you are fantastic. Also, Jose. Well, friends, listen, listen, I'm going to give you the answers in order to finish rapidly because of the time, right? And I know that some of you have many things to do. So in number one, the correct answer is A. In number two is letter D. In number three is letter C. In number four is letter A. In number five is letter B. In number six, letter D. In number seven, C. In number eight, B. And the homework is in your WhatsApp group. Check it out. Thank you. Thank you very much, friends. See you next week. Be nice. Be beautiful. Please, Jose, behave. Right? Bye-bye, friends.